Hello, Robin here from Expert On. Today we are talking about the 4312, a TN from Acoustic Audio Canada. Now, not to get it mixed up with Acoustic Audio in the States, which is spelled with all capital letters, and Acoustic Audio Canada is, well, you know, capital lowercase, that sort of thing. Uh, that's just to help when people are looking for it. Uh, this is going to be something you're going to find in Canada mostly. So, for now, we're going to take some time, we're going to review this because up here this is a real popular, popular type of speaker and it's covered with a lot of features. It's a party speaker in that sense that if you're looking for something for backyard anywhere about and you need something that's going to get you some good party distance for a group of, you know, 10 to 24 people and if you want to do karaoke, all that's part of the package as well. It's got things like Bluetooth and MP3 and USB built into it. it. even has an FM tuner, but that's not a primary. So, if we take a look at the back again, we'll cover that part first, and we'll see some of the goodies. Now, on the back, first thing, we've got a double set of wheels on the unit with a pull-out handle on top. Makes it very easy and portable to carry around. It's a 12-inch, so we don't get that big, giant 15-inch size out of it. Uh, it's about 25, 30% smaller, so that's a big plus. Now, this unit offers some great features. Now, they've packed this thing with everything they can possibly get. So, up here, we've got a five-band equalizer. That's like cream and sugar in your coffee. You can adjust the highs and lows whichever way you want. It goes from zero flat to plus 12 or minus 12 dB just by sliding up and down the levers. Beside that, we've got two more inputs for uh, microphones, guitars. We can use either uh, three pin XLR or we can use quarter inch on it as well so when you get that free cable in with your microphone your quarter mics uh, that you can't use on a mixing board that's why it plugs right into the back of speakers like this now at the same time we've got down on the side we've got some RCA plugs so now the RCA plugs are so you can plug into your laptop or CD player or anything that you want to play from uh, but you don't want to necessarily use Bluetooth at the same time if you want to improve the quality of your phone or tablet when playing you can just get yourself some auxiliary to RCA cables just like this and plug that right into the back here where it says line in and you're all set now let's say you want to plug this into your home stereo or into another speaker and anything like that they also give you mix out they give you a left and right mix out so we can then plug that into a second speaker or into our home system so this way if we are using this for let's say karaoke uh, you can then pump it through your big system as well there you go. Now, wireless microphones included. You get two of them, not one, but you get two of them. You're also going to get holsters that slide in on the side of the speaker right here. You just take this and you can either put it down here if you got it on a stand or you can put it all the way up here and that just pushes it. You give it a good push, get it straight, and that's it. Now the microphone will go right in there, no problem, just like that. Three handles, one located at the top, two located on the side. Makes it very portable, very easy to pick up if you gotta get it onto a stand. Now this one weighs more than some of the other 12 inch speakers out there by about maybe two, three pounds or maybe more. Uh, that's because they use a full seven and a half amp hour battery in this unit. Uh, that's a big, big plus. Now what you see in the front, by the way, since we have it in the front side right now, we've got lights built into this. Now, if you're using this for business and not for, you know, pleasure, well, turn the party off push the off button lights. There's a light button in the back that says on off. I can turn it off if I want, no problem. So remember, 12 inch driver down here, and you've got the horn on top. And we'll turn that back on, turn this back. Now, as power goes, what they've done is Cusco Audio has decided to use one amp plate for both their 15 inch and their 12 inch, just like the big guys do in the commercial products. So what we've got is a 500 RMS with a thousand watts. Now, one of the big things when it comes to the units with batteries in it, we'll just unpack the power cord, is charging it. Now, yes, there's a power cord, and yes, it goes in the back, but the most important thing here, and I'll grab one that's plugged in here. That was nasty. Oh, sorry about that. All right. This power cord, when I plug it in, I'll do it again so this way you can see. There's a green light right here. It's plugged in. Now that green light says charge on it. So whenever I actually take the unit and plug it in, I'm now charging this. It takes only about four hours to charge. 
the drawback is you don't want to leave it plugged in all the time or else all you're going to do is stress out the battery and you won't get much charge playback time that is on the battery uh, at half volume you're going to get about four hours at best uh, it's like a gas pedal in your car the more you step on the volume the less time you're going to get if you're just idling with the volume so some background music no problem you'll probably get you know anywhere from six to eight hours out of that uh, in the showroom here we've forgotten them on and they're only on like one or two out of ten and they've been on all day long so there you go so if you want to keep the battery lasting as long as possible when you're not using it or it's getting put away definitely don't leave it plugged in um, there's nothing wrong with if you're having a whole party in the backyard for the whole day to plug this puppy in and leave it going all day it'll run off the battery and charge the battery at the same time so you don't have to worry about it but that just means you don't have to charge it up for next time it'll be full charged so remember that best use out of the battery don't leave it plugged in all the time. Keep it unplugged as much as possible. So, now we're back to the wireless microphones. We want to use these on the back of the unit. We've got two knobs down here. We've got a button right next to it. This is all part of what they call the VHF wireless microphone system, built right in. I need to turn that on. I turn that on, these two knobs are now available to me, and on top here I've got a master volume. So if I was playing music, so if I hit play, and I use the button right above the volume knob, so that's the first button, it says line mp3. That's gonna give me my volume. Now if I didn't hear the music playing, even though I'm playing up here, it might be because I have this button pushed out. This button up here is right underneath the light button, and it's called an mp3, and underneath that it says line. Now what that does for me is allows me to switch between the RCA plugs and the mp3 player on top so there we go so put that back on and we're all set so all right so now we're going to try out the actual microphones so to try that out all we need to do is look at which one we've turned on so in this case i just flicked the switch here and this particular one is green the second one is amber and if we look back at our wireless VHF system down here what we're gonna see is that this one has gone green now if I turn it off it goes off again if I turn it on it goes on again and I just turn that up a little bit and I turn it up actually a bit because we're just gonna turn up the volume a little bit now we've got music playing off the mp3 player and there we go microphones now on right on top of that now remember you want to talk about half an inch three quarters off it if you want to adjust the sound quality you just change this right here you get the bass and trouble control, your mids and highs, so if I want to bring up my voice right in the middle, if I want to add echo, I just turn the knob. So, right between the master volume, right between the master volume and the line control is echo. When I turn that on, I'm going to get mic control right there. So there you go, it's a light echo, it's not uh, uh, dramatic, but the idea is that if we're using it for karaoke or we just want to liven up the sound, that's all we need to do is just turn that up there. It's as simple as that. So, they use nine volt batteries in their microphones. So just remember that, kind of important. You wanna have it fresh, don't leave it on because the microphone doesn't know if you're using it or not and it'll just burn through the batteries. Uh, batteries usually last about three to four hours uh, each time you use it. And if you wanna get range out of your microphones, you gotta pull the antennas out. That's why there's two antennas in the back, one for each microphone. Now, again, just going over the knobs one more time, what we've got is these are considered gain controls. These aren't volume buttons. The only volume button here is the master volume. So you're going to mix how much music you want and how much microphone you want, and then you turn up the volume a bit on it like that. So if you're not sure where should I put all these knobs, start by putting them at 12 o'clock straight up, and only the ones that you're going to use and then this way you can adjust the volume by putting the volume up a little bit, testing it out, giving it a check and see, maybe I need more music, maybe I need more microphone. So to do that you just then adjust the knobs a little bit higher, a little bit lower. And that's how you start. Always start in the middle and work your way from there. Um, I don't think there's a whole heck of a lot more to cover on it. I think we've gone through everything. Remember we've got the five band equalizer two inputs for guitars and microphones, uh, the XLR and three quarters, MP3 USB up on top, 
if you want to scan the radio station, just press the button until it gets to the FM mode. Hold down the play button and that will automatically start the scan. It will scan where all the radio stations that you're at that it can pick up. Remember the FM tuner is a secondary thing, not a primary, so it's nice to have it, but I wouldn't necessarily count on it all the time wherever I go. Uh, one last feature down here that we didn't cover, which is the 12 volt uh, input. So if you need to have an external battery pack and you want to run that off that 12 volt, you can use the positive negative here to a portable battery pack. Just be careful because it's screw down terminals. Uh, outside of that, that covers everything. If you got any questions or comments, my name is Robin, you've been watching Expert Island, and this is the Acoustic Audio from Acoustic Audio Canada, the actual 4312 TN. This is the new model, the TN. It offers a full grill cover in the front with light option built into it. You just turn it on and off by pressing that on and off button right in the back. If you got any questions or comments, please leave them down below. We'll make the link to our website available for this. And remember to subscribe if you haven't done that yet. Thank you very much. Bye-bye now.